Alright guys, what's poppin'? It's your boy A-Dub. Second part to this video. Actually, it's not second part to this video. It's a whole new video. But, um, remember I made this shirt right here with this, uh, A-W. Now, I said I might add the, uh, logo to the chest part. I got this all hooped up. And I think we're gonna go ahead and add the logo to the chest part. Like I said I was gonna do. So, um, let me... Put this on. I already, I already digitized the logo, so we're gonna go ahead and put, hoop this up and um, run it. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Um, how am I gonna hoop this? All right, I think I'm gonna have to pull all of this underneath over here and come in here, and all this shirt is gonna have to go underneath the needle. Like so. And this is what you gotta do, guys, when you're doing this stuff. Gotta pull all your shirt through first. To make sure none of it is underneath, or else that part is gonna get sewn in your design, and you don't wanna get your shirt stuck together. Alright, so let me just go ahead and. Yeah, this is uh, involved right here. Go ahead and get this all under here. I should have actually did this beforehand but it's okay let me give you guys a close up of what I'm doing here so I'm trying to get all of the shirt that I'm not sewing on obviously underneath the thing and get the hoop okay now I'm in the hoop all right got the hoop clear now I can put it on clip it in and I want to keep everything clear. Alright, make sure nothing's underneath. Alright. And I did have some shirt underneath, so it's a good thing I checked. Or else that part of the shirt would have been sewn onto the design. Alright, so all that's clear of underneath. Now. Alright, now we have a clear surface to put the logo on and let me see where the neck is alright so the neck is right here so I want the design to go this way alright let me see let's load up my design alright let's see what we're doing here guys alright so boom boom the call no boom Boom. And here we go right here. Set. Um, and edit. And I got the small hoop on here. So we're just going to move this around and see how big this design is. Boom. 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 And boom. Alright. That's uh, good enough to use a small hoop. It says no small hoop. But it is good enough to use a small hoop and we're going to go ahead and drop the foot down. Because as we move it around, I'm going to show you guys again what happened when I moved it around. So you guys know what to do on this machine to check to see if it's okay. So what I did was I put it in that mode. You guys saw what I just did with my finger. I uh, went and I checked all sides. That's as far as it's going to come over this way. This is far as going to come over the corner. And that's actually a huge logo, to be honest with you guys. It's kind of bigger than I wanted it to be. Um, I wanted like one and a half inch, but we're going to go ahead and do it. and see how it comes out. All right. Um, so right now, as it sits, uh, we want to rotate the logo. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the screen again. And because I want to rotate the logo because the neck is... The neck is right here of the shirt, right? It's the tag. The neck is right here. So I want the logo to go this way. All right, if that makes any sense. So uh, let's go to rotate 90 degrees. And you see it's this way. It's this way now. So the machine is going to stitch it the correct way. Let me show you what I did. 
I had it set to right here and I just push right here and it rotated the logo all right and press OK press embroider and come back over here and I want you guys to get a look at this while it does it I'm gonna lower the presser foot it says 5, 9, 10. It's going to take this about 10 minutes to do. We're going to do the red first. So let's start embroidering, guys. Let's go. Very interesting in what it's doing right now. Looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Looks very neat. Doing a good job. Looking good. Could be better. I could have straightened that circle up a little bit. It says bobbin thread is almost empty. So uh, this is what you get when you get bobbin thread is almost empty. All right, so when this happens, guys, I'm gonna show you guys what you have to do because you're gonna get this message when you buy this machine, right? So if you notice right on the side, I got a bobbin right here. So I'm gonna show you in the middle of sewing, you'll get this message, bobbin thread empty. I'm gonna make this a separate video. So, when you get the bobbin thread is empty message on your embroidery machine, you just press OK, acknowledge it, and then you have to actually take out your, uh, your uh, embroidery. So, let the thread up. In this case, I press the cut, the scissors cut. So, to cut the scissor, so to cut the thread, bring up the presser foot. And I run my scissors, my scissor underneath the thread to, to get it loosened. Now it's loose. That, that actually just moved the thread from the actual sew. Then I loosen up my presser, I loosen up my um, thing. And then what you want to do is you want to just be able to access the, uh, the bobbin, the area where the bobbin goes. So I'm just going to move this to the side, move this to the side. And here's where the bobbin goes, guys. So, that's where the bobbin goes. All right, that's where the bobbin goes. I'm gonna grab my bobbin. I'm gonna pull this lever right here, this little latch right here. You pull it, pull it towards you, right? So, pull it, the door pops up. Take it, take it off. And I got this bobbin right here that's almost empty. Right here, as you guys can see, it's almost empty. I'm gonna take this one that's full, and I'm gonna drop it in there this way. See the thread is this way? I'm gonna drop it in there, boom. And then, uh, then I'm gonna come underneath of this little latch right here, this little tab right here. You gotta bring the thread underneath it. All right, sorry you guys can't see it, but I'll put a link to my tutorial on how to do this. Bring it underneath, bring it around this little hook right here, make sure it's inside of there, bring it around, and it cuts itself, and it pops back up, great. But uh, tuck it in, and then put this last piece back on, right in the little part it came off, push it down, and we're ready to go again. But now we have to reattach our, reattach our hoop. So we put it back underneath, reattach the hoop, all right, make sure once again we're clear from everything underneath there. Make sure there's no material underneath, no extra shirt underneath because we don't want that shirt to get sewed on. And we're in the clear, clear here. Then we push back down our presser foot, All right? And then we press go again. We're back in the money. See how that works? Now we're finishing up. Alright. Now 
now it's time for me to change the thread. Give me a second. Let me change the thread real fast, guys. Put the black thread in. This part's going to take four minutes to do. I'm going to pause for a second. All right, guys. I got my black thread in now. So I'm going to zoom in and give you guys a close-up shot because all of this fatigue in, in between here is going to get filled in with black. So let's start this process. It, said, it says this should take four minutes, so let's start it. because I'm going to cut that little piece of thread right here that's sticking up. I don't want it in my uh, in my design sewn in, so I'm going to cut it and I'm going to get rid of it. Normally I have my uh, tweezers, but I don't have them, so I'll just cut it, grab it, and get rid of it, and keep it going. There we go. There's going to be a few jump stitches in here that I'm going to have to cut. I don't mind, it's okay. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Jump stitch right there. And it's going to make a huge jump stitch from there all the way to over here. It's going to be a huge one. Done, but I'm gonna have to um, put it in the red again because it's gonna do a little outline around the whole thing. I see that little line right there got a little messed up. So it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's still gonna look nice. I see that, yeah, I see that line got messed up a little bit. I don't know if the material moved or what, but it's not perfect. All right, so embroidery done. You pressed OK. Bring the foot up. Pass the scissor underneath that. And let's get this out and see what we came out with and then we'll clean it up and then we'll see what it looks like the final result and see if it all goes together with the iron on that I did all right so let me show you guys real fast all right it's pretty okay this is what it looks like I think it looks pretty good what do you guys think I think it looks pretty good all right, see a bunch of jump stitches right there. I'm going to get this out with a seam ripper. Get this out with a seam ripper real fast. But um, let me loosen this up. Here's the neck part right here. Here's the bottom part of the stitch. I'm loosen this up. How you guys liking this video? these videos with um, embroidery? So I'm ripping this off. Tear away stabilizer. Just ripping it away. And I'm going to clean this bottom part off up a little bit. Boom. Boom. Clean it up a little bit. Boom. 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 Dun, 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 dun. I got all those little, that's good enough for me. Come to the front. And that was the part where we got to get to work because we got a jump stitch right here, one right here, one right, one hedron right here, one right here. And immediately I think I can get underneath this one right here. Yep. Boom. Cut that. And cut this. And the rest I think I'll use the seam ripper. Let me see if I can get underneath there. Yep. Cut that. Cut this. Cut it. And yep, cut that. Let me just cut the other one real fast. Yep. Cut 
All right, be real careful, and then cut this one. Didn't you have to use a seam ripper? Gotta be careful, cause you don't want to cut your embroidery when you're doing this. I'm off camera. All right, and that's it, guys. And let me straighten out the shirt and see if it came out exactly where we want it to be. And fail, fail, guys. Cause you see how it is right here. Ah, oh, what a disappointment. I don't know how that happened. It came out sideways. That happened because I had the neck like this, but when I rotated it, yeah, it stitched out wrong. Oh, God, what a disappointment. But either way, I'm still gonna rock it, guys. Still gonna rock it. So this is an example of how you need to be really, really careful when you're doing this because this is a fail. All right, this is a total fail right here. You failed, I failed. But I'm still gonna rock it. Mm. Still gonna rock it, all right? Because even though it's a fail, it's not like it's bad, but that's not how I wanted it. I wanted it up and down but it came out sideways so I still got my AW right here then I got the matching embroidered logo right here sideways but I wanted it this way I wish I could turn it but ah uh, how the heck did I do that I looked at the neck and I thought I you guys thought I matched it up good right I thought I matched it up good rewind this video I thought I matched it up good but Epic fail guys and, and this is like I like to make my videos and show my mistakes because um when people do it they show everything perfect but you know I'm not gonna do a whole nother shirt to try to get this perfect but I'm I am still gonna wear this. Um you wear your prototypes when you mess it up because uh you know there's the per perfection is in there is perfection in imperfection is what I'm trying to say. And um hey I might make them like I might just make them like this, who knows? All right, guys, so, um, yeah. So, guys, I hope you liked this video, even though it was kind of a fail, but you learn from your mistakes, and you keep it moving, so next time, and that's why you play around with the stuff, so you don't have mistakes, all right? So, it's your boy, A-Dub. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't make the mistake I did. Make sure you line it up carefully, and, um, yeah, I don't know why that happened. Actually, I do know why that happened, because I had it lined up. Anyway, whatever. But um, it's your boy A-Dub, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Make sure you check out alanawade.com and buy some channel merch so you can help out the channel. It's your boy. Appreciate you. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby? Sweet, 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 sweet.